Let's uh, whip you back into the United States. Larry Chauvin from Efficient Capital Management, uh, standing by the NYMEX. Larry, so well, into Europe, we yet ag again find ourselves that 7% yield on debt, uh, the red zone. We're back there, Super Mario given no uh, honeymoon. What do you make of it? It's hard to know what to make of it. You know, talking about Europe or understanding Europe is like taking a visit to the psychiatrist. Like every answer leads to more questions. I mean, austerity, will they do it? Will the market reward them for that? What's the market going to do with $1.9 trillion of their debt when debt ratios start to rise and when they go into a recession? What's going to happen then? What's going to happen if they can't leverage private capital for the EFSF? Yeah. There are so many right. questions and overhangs out there. It's hard to know how to make sense of it all. And just like the visit of the psychiatrist, do you come out with any answers or do you come out worse off than when you went in? Absolutely. It's hard to know what's going to happen here. But I'll tell you what, the market right now seems to be pricing in the fact that the ECB at some point may be forced to do some quantitative easing. You look at the euro currency now, 134 spot 72, at, last, at least at last look. I think they're pricing that in. That's the only way this is going to work. They're not going to be able to enforce austerity. I think the ECB will come out and start printing money to buy debt, bring the yields down, and hope for the best. <laughs> it sounds, though, like a sort of a mad scramble to the bottom. Uh, we've got a fairly conservative Mario Draghi now as an ECB governor who's really, surely, doing the bidding of Germany. Would that be what Germany wants? Absolutely not. Germany will not want this. And in fact, ECB right now is, is denying that they'll actually do a quantitative easing. Yeah. But the fact is, the writing's on the wall. They're not, they're not willing to cut bait and let things just go the way they're supposed to go. Tell people to shape up or ship yeah. out. So they're going to have to do plan B. Have you not seen, print more money have you not and seen, buy debt? As latest developments, though, unfold, have you not seen Germany begin to, I suppose, soften its stance on a breakup of the Eurozone? Uh, as, a, as, a, as a clear alternative to that ECB action. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, um, you, you know, everybody knows this, but the German citizens never wanted this whole euro currency business. So the fact of the matter is, they're the ones at the end of the day that might end up being forced to pay for the whole thing. Yeah. So I would think German will would be against uh, quantitative easing, against the euro currency, mm -hmm. and just let things fall where they may because they're strong. Larry, how does Copper react to all of this? Are you a bull or are you a bear? I am a bull on copper. It is really confusing, but copper up at $3.50 a pound. There are so many good supply issues right now. You have the Grasberg mine strike, which is starting to to become a really big deal because there's no end in sight to it. You have Chinese who've been living hand-to-mouth basis for months and months and months, and uh, LME stock levels, Shanghai stock levels continue to drop, inventory drops. The fact of the matter is uh, they're going to have to at some point be buyers. They've been very silent, but you can see that the scrap metal has gone away. Every month that goes by, they take more and more. So the fact of the matter is there's not enough supply out there to support the demand, even if we have a recession. So the fact of the matter is I think $3.50 a pound copper is reasonable right now. Reasonable but not cheap. Larry, thank you indeed. Appreciate it.